morning. Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm a nursing student and I'm here to do an assessment on you for my health assessment class. Okay. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands for 20 seconds per school protocol and I'm going to get your vitals on you, okay? okay. So I'm going to do your blood pressure, your pulse, your temp, your respiration rate. Ninety-eight over sixty, which you work out, so that sounds pretty good. All right, let me get your your temperature. Ninety-eight three. I'm just going to check your respiration rate. You get a respiration rate of 16. All right, so what I'm going, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Can you give me your name? Jesse. Do you know where you are? The simulation lab. Okay, and you know what today's date is? April 23rd, 2019. All right, so you're alert and you're oriented times three and your speech is clear. Do you have any problems with your vision? No. Do you use any glasses, contacts, anything to help you with your vision? No. Okay. I'm going to take a look at your eyes. I'm looking to see if your pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light and accommodation. I'm looking at your conjunctiva to make sure it's clear and non-cobbled, and I'm going to look at your sclera, make sure it's white. Now I'm going to look and see if you have any drainage around your eyes, okay? Okay, just look forward for me. Okay, so your pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light and accommodation. Pupil size is about three millimeters. Your conjunctiva is clear and non-cobbled and your sclera is white and it, there's no drainage in your eyes. Okay. Do you have any issues with your ears, any hearing problems? No. Use of hearing aids or devices? No. Okay. So I'm gonna look inside your ears, look for it, make sure it's patent and any see if there's any drainage. Do you have any pain with your ears? No. There's some light cerumen in your ears, but they're painting and I didn't see any drainage. Light reflexes were at five and seven. Okay, so for your mouth, do you have any pain on your teeth, your gums, your um, tongue, or anything in your mouth? I don't. No. All right, do you have any dental appliances, anything like that? No. Okay. So you open wide, say ah. Uh, okay, uvula is midline, tonsils are non uh, edematous. Your soft palate and hard palate is pink. Your gum soft, gums are pink. No, look, doesn't look like there's any dental caries. Can you stick your tongue out for me? 
You lift it up. Okay. No lesions. Your tongue looks symmetrical. Your lips look moist and pink. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assess your lungs. Okay. Do you have any shortness of breath? No. Any productive or non-productive cough recently? No. Okay. So I'm going to listen to your lungs. Get your pulse ox first. Just checking your oxygen saturation. Okay, your oxygen saturation is at 98%. Okay, so I'm going to listen to your lungs. dizzy please let me know I'm listening for any adventitious lung sounds I'm listening to your listening for the depth and the rate of your lungs and the rhythm that you're breathing okay your breath in and out you on the back. Okay, so just relax. I'm going to listen to your heart, your, um, your respiration rate again. depth was adequate, it was not shallow, it wasn't overly deep, and I didn't hear any adventitious sounds in your lungs, so your lungs sounded clear. So now I'm going to, um, I'm going to assess your heart. Do you have any heart conditions or chest pain? No. No? Okay. So I'm going to have you do is I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and assess your jugular vein distension, which you don't have since you're already sitting up, and I'm going to have you go ahead and lay down, and I'm going to listen to your apical pulse and your, pul uh, um, your heart sounds at your herbs point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for any pulsations, any heaves, or any lifts. Okay. And I don't see any of that. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your apical pulse. I'm listening for S1, S2, any splits, any S3, S4, or murmurs.
and now I'm going to herbs point. So S1, S2 were audible in both areas. Your pulse was even, your rate was, um, you had an even rate with your apical pulse. No splits were heard, no extra heart sounds, no murmurs. And then I'm going to go ahead and look at your fingers and I'm looking for any clubbing. No clubbing of your fingers. I'm looking at cap refill. less than three seconds and then I'm going to go ahead and do your yeah, radio pulses they're equal bilaterally and plus two I'm going to check your pedal pulses They're equal bilaterally plus two. And I'm looking for any um, pedal edema as well as edema on the legs bilaterally. And I don't see any. So now I'm going to assess your abdomen. Uh, when was your last bowel movement? This morning. And was it normal for you? It was normal, moderate amount, uh, brown. Okay, oh. and texture was formed, okay. So I'm gonna take a look at your abdomen. I'm gonna put your arms down there. I'm looking to see the contour, which is slightly concaved and flat. No pulsations noted. I'm gonna to listen to each quadrant for 15 seconds for bowel sounds. have normal active bowel sounds in all four quadrants. So now I'm gonna touch your stomach. I'm gonna like press on it. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness, okay? I'm looking for any grimacing, not deep palpation. Any pain? No. Okay, so I'm going to assess your skin. I'm gonna go ahead and check your skin turner and make sure you're not dehydrated which your trigger is elastic. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at your skin. So I've already looked at your stomach. I didn't notice any scars or anything like that. Your arms. Okay, you've got some burn marks on your legs. Your knees are a little red from sunburn. Okay, no other markings on your leg. Go ahead and Sit on up, look at the skin on your back. You have freckles and moles that are generalized around your skin. Okay, and then same on your chest. I'm gonna go ahead and look at your hair, make sure it's evenly distributed. It looks evenly distributed and um, 
I recessed your cap refill and I looked through your nails for clubbing and looking at the um, looking at your nails make sure they're not broken brittle thin okay do you have any weakness no, no weakness okay so I'm gonna have you stand up for me So what I want you to do is I want you to walk across the front of the bed and I'm going to assess your gait and I'm going to have you walk back. Nice, smooth, even gait. Weight distribution is even. So I'm going to assess your range of motion for your shoulders, your elbows, your knees, and your hips. And I'm looking if you feel any crepitus, any, um, it feels kind of like Rice Krispies in your bones, any cracking, popping, just let me know and I'm looking for any limited range of motion or pain. Okay. So I want you to start with your hands at your side. You're gonna abduct out, adduct in, forward flexion, and extension. Any pain with no. that? Okay, so then I'm gonna have you, since you're already standing, I wanna go ahead, well, let's do your elbows first. So I'm gonna put your arms out like this, and you're gonna flex like you're lifting weights, and extend, any pain with that? A full range of motion there. So since you're already standing, we'll have you assess your hips. So I want you to put your hands on your hips and then you're gonna take one leg and you're going to push it straight out, push it back with flexion and extension. Okay. And same thing with your other leg, flexion and extension. Any pain or any limitations catching with that? Mm -hmm. All right. So go ahead and have a seat. And we're gonna do the same thing with your knees. You're going to flex and extend. So leg out, leg in and leg out, leg in. No pain or anything with that? No. Nope. And overall, uh, I was gonna ask you during your vitals, but uh, do you have any generalized pain? No, I don't. So on a scale of zero to 10, zero being no pain and 10 being the worst pain you ever felt in your life? It's a zero. Zero, awesome. Well, thank you, Jesse. I appreciate you helping me out with my class. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you.